having your final information and you're so worried that you can't use your mathematics paper? <laughs> right now, you've come to the right place. You know, it feels suck. Once you got that, your math test, and you got a very average or not so average results that turn out to be a bad one. Personally, I experienced the same thing when I was in my school. My academic achievements in mathematics was so low. Hey guys, it's Serene. In this video, I am going to share with you 5 effective ways to be good at mathematics. So let's get on with the video. I was in the backseat of the car while my dad was driving and I was like, oh, I hate mathematics. And guess what? He scolded me at that moment. You have to set a positive mindset in order for you to be good at mathematics. You don't have to underestimate yourself saying that you are not naturally good at mathematics. It's wrong, people. The theory does not hold at all. If you get a bad result for your mathematics, what you have to do is you just think or analyze what could possibly drive your result to be unimpressive. What you can say is that, that you may not have been spending most of your time with mathematics. Probably you didn't put much effort in mathematics. If so, you know that you have to plan on what you are going to do next. You know people in, I don't know, in, in Western countries, they would always assume that Asians are born as a natural math nerds. Well, actually, I am an Asian and the theory is wrong. There is no such thing that there are people who are naturally good at math. Unless if you have this calculia that would inhibit you from performing good at mathematics, then the theory is proven. But you can never underestimate yourself. You know that you can do better and um, you must always stay motivated at all times. You have to surround yourself with intelligent and positive people and don't be afraid to be the dumbest one in the room because that gives you the most potential to learn. A negative mind will not give you a positive result. I used to hate mathematics and look at me now. I am majoring in mathematics. The next thing that you need to do is a revision. It is better to stay focused in class but learning doesn't stop once the class has ended. Once you get home, open your book and start to do your revision. It is recommended for you to do your revision for about two to three hours. On top of that, I love doing revision during the weekends. I usually wake up early at probably around seven and I take a shower and have my breakfast and then I would sit in a quiet place to do my revision because I don't like to hear noises, people singing, people talking. Also, you can do your revision every day, but if you don't have that much time, probably you would just have your own schedule and never ever skip your revision. Also, you can browse the internet to find more um, exercises or online tests or examination papers from the previous years. I've been doing so since college, yes. I would always go to YouTube. I would go to Math BFF and Patrick JMT. Math BFF is more to calculus while Patrick JMT is more to statistics, um, stochastic, I'm not sure if algebra, I'm not sure about that. Also, I would love to go to Khan Academy. Uh, it has lots of notes, helpful notes, exercises, as well as doing the coding. So you have to keep tracks on the days of your examination and your test because it is important for you to do your revision as early as you can. I just finished my first semester final examination. The first paper was numerical analysis. I've been studying so hard. I studied early, way before time. I was studying too hard, way too hard. I was lacking of sleep. The next day I woke up, I couldn't stand on my two feet. I would go dizzy once I got up, and then I just lie down on my bed. It's not good. Thank God it didn't happen on the actual examination day or else I couldn't imagine myself in that condition. I couldn't think of anything that time. Moreover, it is advisable for you to study in a distraction-free environment. But once I got into the university, I started to listen to some particular music. Let's see what I have here. I love listening to this because it helps you to avoid stress, it improves your memory, and it's relaxing. I love it. Let's check it out.
is calming, right? I love the elements of water. Uh, the title of this music is 3 Hours Relaxing Music with Water Sounds Meditation. Yes, it helps you to meditate as well. I do not advise you to listen to such songs such as the Taylor Swift songs or anything anything that you prefer because last time I was listening to Backstreet Boys As Long As You Love Me and the next thing I know I was on their playlist on Spotify and it doesn't help with the concentration another thing is that I think you should try to help other people why? this eventually will enhance your memory your understanding as well as your confidence in mathematics you can also share your ideas with your circle of friends it is a good idea to study with your friends especially when you are solving some complex problems and i find this really helpful because it improves my mathematics skill and i believe you should improve yours too my fourth point i would say you don't have to memorize the process so what you need to do is that you have to understand the key concept of that topic because when you are solving such extreme or more complex problem, it will always lead you to understand the basic concepts. You have to focus on understanding the process and the logic that involve. For example, like revising complex method. We have several steps that involve in that process, and you have to go stage by stage, stage one, stage two, stage three, and then you probably you have to repeat the same process until a certain condition has been achieved. We go to stage one and what does stage one yield? It is crucial to have a firm understanding. And the last thing would be to apply mathematics in real life situation. You can apply probability in your real life. Let's go with this example. We have five apples. We have two red apples, three green apples. One, two, this one, this one, and this one. So you have five apples. You want to find what is the probability to pick a red apple. When I first encountered with this kind of problem, I would say one out of five. Turn out I was wrong. It is actually two over five. This probability problem might seem easy for some of you, but there are people in my university who still don't understand the concept. They are doing their bachelor and they do not understand this concept. Yes, oh my god, right? But that's the truth. If you can't see the logic behind this, we assume that you are participating in a contest. Let's say a selfie contest. There are actually five submissions from other people, including yourselves, and you submit two selfies, and the third, the fourth, the fifth are from other people person A, person B, person C. And you want to find what are the chances of you to win that particular contest. Your probability of winning is actually 2 out of 5. If you don't see the logic behind it, I got your calculator right now. I'm using this calculator. <laughs> and then what you have to do, key in 2 out of 5 times 100%. And that is the chances for you to win that selfie contest. And what is your chances of winning? It's actually 40%. What is the probability of person A to win? 1 out of 5. Person B also same, 1 over 5. Person C also same, 1 over 5. If you want to multiply it with 100%, up to you. It depends on the question, actually. And that is how you apply mathematics in a real life situation. Previously, I studied linear programming and I apply it to solve my real life situation problem because I wanted to find the minimum cost that I could be spending when I was doing another film. What I like about applying mathematics in real life is because of its application that is practical and it helps in changing your perspective and assimilate ideas differently. So I hope you find this video beneficial and helpful and I wish for your success. Your examinations is near and I know you are feeling scared when you fail this paper. Are you going to let your parents down? How are you going to improve your CGPA? You wanted that 3.8 to 4.0 CGPA what if you fill this paper fully you are more confident and motivated once you watch this video hopefully give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking this button if you haven't followed me on my other social media 
please follow my Facebook or please follow my Instagram and I'll try to follow you back. Facebook it's Serene Saman and Instagram it's Gallery of Mine. I would like to wish to all of my Muslim brothers and sisters Selama Hari Raya, Maaf Zahir Batin. If you want to give me some Raya packets, please send it to my house. I'm here. I need money. I need money to fund for my education. <laughs> I need money to buy more makeup, I need money to buy more clothes, more shoes, handbags. Just kidding. Bye! I don't really quite understand why I'm taking mathematics. It's probably because of my ex-boyfriend. He used to study actual science, which is quite similar to what I studied. Don't take mathematics, don't. Just don't.